Welcome to I Love Stocks. We're going to discuss Tesla and what's going to happen on the 21st, the day that it goes into the S&P. Tesla is one of my favorite trades of 2020, and it will be one of my favorite trades of 2021. I've been bullish on this for a very long time and still am. There's one thing that the bears don't understand about Tesla. It's just more than a car company. It's a tech company. They build solar roofs. They're getting into space. They have chips. It's, it's far more than a car, car company. And I just want to keep explaining that because I think people get mixed up saying, oh, this is, a, this is just a car company. Well, I don't, I don't agree with that. I think it has a lot more to do with it. So I'm very bullish on Tesla coming into Monday, and I'll show you some reasons why. First, I want to kind of pay attention to what's happening here. Santa Claus rally, holiday shortened week. What to know in the week? Well, I know that the market will close early on Thursday, and it should be closed on Friday. So Christmas is on a Friday this year. So I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Now, I'm really excited about Tesla. I think it's getting ready to join that S&P. It's going to be the biggest capitalization in stock in the index, and that excites me a lot, a lot. And I know that maybe, you know, 4.6 trillion of index funds are going to be interested in this stock. And they're going to try to buy it on the dip if it happens. But I'm looking at something a little bit different. A little different case scenario, and I'll bring it up here on the 200. Or on the yearly with my SMAs. We've had a real nice run. It bounced off this 70. I mean, that was, I don't think the price ever got down that, but that was after the split. So we closed in the market. Friday with a hammer. A hammer is a bullish candle and there's a difference between the hammer and the hanging man. The hanging man is a red bearish candle. The hammer is a green bullish candle. So I'm bullish into the trade and I'm sure that we're going to break 695 come Monday. So if you're in the trade, I think you're going to be okay. But there's going to be maybe a scenario where it might want to pull back a little bit and then the S&P will get in there. So let's go ahead and look at chart this up try to find some support levels. We definitely have one right down here, right around the one, I'm gonna say, oh, that's a beautiful spot there, at the 154, 155 area. Then we've got another one, and I'm gonna say the low case scenario, I want it to hold here at 127.18. Now we do have a first support on the bottom of that hammer, right here, and right there. So let's bring this up to a 20 day and see if I missed anything on the 20 day chart. I really like the way that closed. We got one little support level right in here. You see where we had that high and had that low. I'm still using my SMAs. I like how it bounces off this 200 on the 20 day here in the last couple of weeks. And I do believe we're going to break that resistance level of 694.05. We did have a high of 695, and I think we can take this, I don't know about this coming week, but definitely after the new year, this thing's going to go to 750. So that's my target into 2021 right off the bat. I'm very excited about this trade, more than I've ever been. Now that it's in the S&P, the big fat money is going to start wanting to get into this trade. It's going to be a very bullish, volatile trade for many traders. So I'm thinking every knife is a buy situation and we had that happen on Friday and I'll show you what happened we had that big knife into closing I wish I was here at the time I was definitely at the doctor's office and I would have probably jumped in this trade I know a couple people in the room that did it and it's gonna be looking pretty good I always like to look for reversals so on this one here my reversal trade would have been probably right here off this candlestick right in here that would probably when I would took the trade on the rebound up. We do have an inverse head and shoulders and a good nice little spin and top right here. And then she went ahead and held support on this candle right here. So maybe I would have got in the trade there. They always kind of pull back to the neckline. And then we had the big breakout. Another pull back here and then breakout. And then you can tell they're wanting this trade up here around 695. So that's going to be my resistance. And I think we're going to have a little pullback. Now let's look at the 20 day one more time. We'll look at the one minute here first. See if I see anything. 
You know, we could have a double bottom right here, like I said before, at 654.88 with a strong buy, no lower than that 625. But I think this area is going to hold right in here. If it does pull back, 654, and then run it back up to 695. First support is going to be right here at 673. Then that next one's going to be right down here. The third one at 662.06, and then a strong buy here at 654. It's kind of how I'm looking at it. We'll see how it comes out Monday, but I'm very excited in this trade. And I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Always remember, I love stocks. We have links over here to our Twitter site and also our Stock Twit site if you want to go ahead and follow us on there if you're not in the room. I love stocks. Merry Christmas. Thank you.